Hello. Here we can see the two-way oscillator in an equilibrium state. Here you have the pendulum side and you can look at the bob. It's empty. There's no, there's no mass. Only the mass of the rod is to be considered here. Here you can see that the spring it's barely touching. The lever is at rest and you can see that the lever it's falling down with a small velocity. This is what we call the left hand side. And at the tip of the left hand side you have this one kilo of mass made of fishing leads. And if we, if we push it up here the lever goes up and down. It's not in perfect equilibrium because it just isn't. I just set it up that it's not in equilibrium. So I'm going to push the pendulum rod here so you can see how it goes into oscillation. The pendulum here was released at about 30 degrees. Here I'm lost. Now I'm going to push it again. Again, push about 30 degrees. You can see there's, there's no big movement. It can look like at the spring you see a small oscillation. But if we push it at 35 degrees, you can see the bigger oscillation begins. You can see that the spring exerts little pressure up on the lever. If we push it a little bit higher, now around, going back to 30 degrees, you see that it's going again, the lever going up and down a little bit, the oscillation is small. If we push a little bit higher, if you're like 35 degrees, you see the oscillation still continues, but there's a damping. A little bit higher, 40 degrees, you see that there's a higher oscillation. And at 45 degrees, you see that it will go into the equilibrium and making the mass at the left hand side move in its position. So the lever now is not in equilibrium anymore. The pendulum now, it's placed at 35 centimeters away from the fulcrum, but the bob has a 2 kilogram mass. You see that the conditions are the same. The, the lever is in equilibrium. You notice here that the spring compression is 0 centimeters. If we push slightly, you see that it goes up and down. You've seen in the less, in a much less velocity than last time to make it different, making that sure that's in equilibrium. I'm using the same mass on the left hand side, one kilogram mass. And here I'm going to show you the bob with a two kilogram mass inside. So now it's closed and there's a two kilogram inside. You notice now, since the lever is in the more exact equilibrium, any movement here on the rod, on the pendulum side, will make the, the system go into this equilibrium. See, a slight movement, I had to put my hand under it so it, won't, it wouldn't turn over. You can see that still oscillating, the, the pendulum is oscillating, making the lever go down. So, that makes like this, the whole system go into into equilibrium, into disequilibrium with the slightest movement. Here I'm going to place the camera in a better position so you can see that any movement, you notice that the lever, the, here we are on the right, right hand side, the lever goes down. Here I'm pushing about 15 degrees only. I'm putting my hand under it so I can hold it. Any movement will make it go down. Here we can see on the spring point of view that any movement will make it go down. Here we can see the spring point of view. I'm going to push the pendulum for about 20 degrees. You can see how high the lever goes. At the same 35 centimeters. Now we go on the same conditions again, but with the pendulum right, or the right hand side, the pendulum, 30 centimeters away from the fulcrum. 
so the mass acting on the left hand side is going to be smaller and our right hand side our mass is going to be greater here you can see that the spring is compressed you have to do a lot of force upwards so you can see that the spring is move, has moved you can see that there's a there's a greater damping thing over there so now I'm pushing the the pendulum getting a better point of view of the camera for you can see the spring the pendulum release about 35 degrees and here you go into a harmonic thing that depending is where you where you push it and you see that the left hand side goes up it's 45 centimeters I think this is the place where people thought there was over unity because the since work is force times distance you have like here in our case one kilogram mass going up 45 degrees 20 times here showing about 30 degrees you see the harmonic now 35 push a little bit harder now now I'm going to push a little bit harder to about 45 degrees and you see the action begins 40 degrees once more to 45 degrees and you see it started now the spring here has a very important factor so it pushes up and down and you can see that since work equals force times distance you see that the distance on the left hand side it's enormous but it doesn't make any real potential energy on the uh, over there and you see that it begins taking energy from the pendulum side and begins to stop